Let's do some top secret. Yeah. Okay, from the vault. Open the vault. We have an expanded series of photos of the new feather from uh, Arturo and Lady Ada, and it's an, an XP-based yes. processor. Yes, Feather M7 RT1011. These are the first prototypes. Again, slightly delayed from COVID, but we're not stopping. Nothing can stop us now. It's got the RT1011, a 500 megahertz uh, Cortex M7 processor. Uh, we think this is going to be an amazing feather to use with CircuitPython. Um, all that speed is going to be great for doing uh, interpretive calculations. And of course, you have uh, 128K of RAM, so that's plenty of RAM. External flash, and we even fit a Stemma QT connector on there. Okay, next up. Here's a rendering of the new, coming soon, clear badge. Mike Dole's designing it for the Adafruit Edge Badge. Edge Badge, Pi Badge, Pi Badge LC. Yeah. You want a case for it? We're designing one. Okay. Very early, coming soon. Then we have uh, three different stemmas that are coming soon. Lady Ada, what are they? Okay, this is the DS1841. So this is an I squared C logarithmic potentiometer. We have a linear potentiometer, but all those audio people who are like, oh, I need log for, you know, whatever, my volume output or your VCO, what have you. Um, we're going to have this uh, log pot out. It's a digital, I think, like 256 pot, uh, tap pot, um, I squared C controlled. And, uh, of course, you have a couple in a row. I think it's non-volatile, too. Uh, the now 7802, I love the now part. It's a 24-bit ADC. It's designed for um, connecting to strain gauges and other like uh, high precision sensors. It's very slow. It's only like, you know, maybe 80 samples per second or something, um, but great for uh, measuring high precision data acquisition targets. And uh, a redesign, this is Rev C now of the ICM 20. Uh, 948. I had to squish all this into 0.7 by one inch. Um, but this is a 9 DOF sensor from TDK. People are really liking this sensor because it's a 9 DOF and uh, it's got a built in fusion engine, which hopefully we can get working. So you can get quaternion data without having to do any calculation on chip, which is, of course, very exciting. And that's top secret back in the vault. Back in the vault. Okay.